that. Yeah. We're so using this to finish that song. You better believe it. In the studio with Torrance Johnson and his music therapist, Matthew Bissett. This is the D-Man Music Therapy Studio in Berkeley. D-Man stands for Danny's Miracle Angel Network, inspired by the late Danny Kassab, founded by his brother Ziad. We said we want him to do everything as if the chair wasn't there. That's our goal. Danny lived a full life despite being paralyzed when he was hit by a car at the age of seven. Now, the D-Man Foundation aims to do that for others here through music. Making my dreams come true. Christina Tilton wants to sing. I was granted six months of free studio time, which is amazing. It's been my dream since I was 14 years old. One of my biggest things is being creative, and I just absolutely love making music. With audio engineers and musicians and music therapists like Matthew Bissett. Help someone make music, help someone, you know, work on their fine motor skills, playing the piano, help someone with their breath support, their physical needs. Um, there's so many things that you can do with music. I'm in awe about what happens and what's created here. Alan Floyd has been with the studio since its start nearly 10 years ago. This is uh, emotional therapy, it's vocational therapy. We all have ways of healing through music. It's not you, it's not me. And now, thanks to a $75,000 grant, even more people with disabilities will have access to this music therapy. This grant we got from Oakland County is allowing us to help up to 20 new people um, two hours a week for six months. It's plenty of time to make a record or two. Anyone who is disabled can apply online and the sessions can be held in person or virtually because many car crash survivors no longer have transportation to the studio. The need for these services, for access to these services, even more important now that so many are dealing with the fallout from the auto insurance reform. That auto accident patient issue hits specifically close to home for me because of my brother. And I see it every day with a lot of the folks that come here. I see the care they used to have and I see the care they have now. People like Alan Floyd, who was paralyzed in a car accident in 2007 when another driver slammed into him. Could have been anybody, anytime, any city, any day. Um, this time it was me. And the no-fault reform has impacted his services. And I was supposed to be grandfathered in. Oh, they're trying to move me out of my apartment. They're saying it's too expensive. They have cut the services of my care by 50%. It's why everyone here is calling on state lawmakers to make things right. We need the legislators to act now, and they have to have courage to do what's right and stand up for what is right and fix this giant mistake they made. Until then, here at the studio, they'll be waiting and making music. It's therapy that helps heal in so many ways. And they're not disabled when they're here. They're extra abled, and the things that they do and the music that they make while they're here is really special. It's just us. We'll put a link on our website at fox2detroit.com. In Berkeley, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.